Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or find a way to lose. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and maybe donating. Boom, let's jump into it. All right, look, man. Caleb Plant last night and David Benavidez was a great fight, man. I can't, I can't lie. It was a good fight. I'm going to tell you, I think, ben, I think Caleb Plant won. I think he won those early rounds. Uh, I, I think it's hard to say that Plant was up 7-0. Some, you know, everybody's going to see it different. Everyone has a different lens that they see boxing. But I, but, but I'm telling you right now, I wasn't no damn 7-0 going into the eighth round. I had it more like, um, probably up to round six, I had it like 5-1. And then rounds seven through 12, you know, Benavides came on strong. Um, but let's say you gave maybe out of round seven through 12, you gave Caleb Plant two rounds. At five, six, that's seven, that's seven rounds. It's like a seven, five uh, fight. You know what I'm saying? But um, at the end of the day, there were some close rounds and uh, there were actually some people when I was on the live, some of, uh, some of the associates and teammates, they actually had it 4-2 going into the sixth. But no doubt, after round six, man, you can see that David Benavidez got his rhythm and Caleb Plant slowed down. And as a result, uh, you know, David Benavidez was getting off. And, and I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about jabs. I mean, it was all power shots. And his ability, David Benavidez, to get those shots off um, in so close and on those angles and not allowing Caleb Plant to tie him up anymore were just very impressive. Hard to get sh powerful shots off like that at such a close close range. But but nonetheless, Caleb Plant decided to come out and just let people know, you know, how he's doing. So he said, hey, you know, just a precautionary checkup. You know, he went to the hospital, for those of you who didn't know. Says he's good, no injuries, nothing bad, just a few licks. That probably means broken jaw, because his damn jaw was swollen. You can't break a poor boy's chin. I'll be back. Congratulations to Benavides 300. I make no excuses. He was a better man, a great rivalry, and we settled it like men. And and I'm I was really glad to see these guys embrace even uh Jose Benavides Jr come over and embrace. He had his son. He was like, hey, Caleb Plant, you know, meet my son. And that tells me that the Benavides family, you know, they were trying to sell the fight. But that tells me that deep down, like in, in their hearts, they they feel for Caleb Plant and losing his daughter and the fact that he has to walk around here feeling that, you know, they have contributed to some of his misery and sadness, you know, um, with his with his as far as the things they were saying about him as a father and his daughter passing away, you could tell that bothered them at the end because even Benavidez Sr., he was quick to come over and hug David and, I mean, to hug uh, Caleb. Don't know what he said, but you you could tell. That even if they didn't say anything like, hey, sorry for what I said, you could just tell in their behavior that they wished that there was, that, that it never happened. Now, back to Caleb Plant, right? So I had it to work. I thought Caleb Plant could have won a won a, a, a split decision or a unanimous decision or a draw. But I, I definitely had no issue with David Benavidez winning that fight either because, man, some of those rounds, no kidding, to me, like three of those rounds should have been like 10, 8 rounds. Like I, I, I'm surprised Caleb Plant's corner didn't throw the towel in. But when you look here at some of the comments, right, this is what blew my mind. Now, I expected to see more like this guy here, Lakers 310. Dude hugged and grabbed on for dear life. Well, you know, he was trying to, you know, jab, clinch, pull a Devin Haney. The other person says, uh, Mason says, Plant, Plant ain't got the pop to be great. What the hell that is? Then this guy, Tom Atkinson, he says, everyone making out like Canelo schools Benavides uh, got quite a shot coming. Caleb Cruz through Canelo. Benavides too big in my opinion. Canelo will have to find something special when he can, which he can obviously, but do it certainly is not an easy fight. Yeah, so I think anyone with any boxing brain knows that David Benavides is a is a real threat. Um, but this guy right here, this is this is what started blowing my mind when I was going through Twitter. This guy says, "Come on, it was closer, but how does Benavides lose the first half, win the second half, and then he's the winner?" 
So he's suggesting that this is some funny business. This guy says Caleb Plant was robbed. This person says Caleb won that seven early rounds easy. David couldn't even get past Caleb's stick. David was falling short and missing a ton of punches while Caleb landed jabs and body jabs. Seven rounds of Caleb, five for David. That's kind of how I had it. But but at the end of the day, I, I think some of those rounds David won were like, I'm not kidding, it's like three of them should have been like 10-8 rounds. That's just a, the kind of beating he gave Plant. Plant was just, Plant just stood there taking it, man. He stood there taking it. Uh, only his second loss and now everyone act like, like he sucks. This is why great boxers don't fight each other. Well, I don't think everybody's going to, he's gener, he generalizing now. I mean, everyone knows Caleb Plant doesn't suck. Caleb Plant, that's what happened when the best fight the best, man. Uh, respect to Caleb Plant for taking the defeat with grace and class. It takes guts to face tough opponents like Benavides in the ring. You'll come back stronger, champ. Click my profile, please. Nobody clicking your damn profile. Plant is a pick-me cornball. Okay, well, we got an idiot there. Love the respect. I honestly thought Plant would win. Uh, great sportsmanship, I agree. I was already a fan of Plant before all of this. I did was solidified. Cool guy, man. I like how he took that crap on the chin. Usually should learn what being a man is from Plant. What the hell? Boris replacement. Need to go cl- climb, crawl back underneath your rock. So, at the end of the day, when you look at uh, what you have here, some mixed, mixed reactions mixed opinions, but don't get me wrong. Caleb Plant is still a bad boy, but David Benavidez, I've always thought he was good, but I'm convinced that um, there's definitely uh, something there, something special about his hands. You know, when you you see a fighter, when they start to land shots on an opponent and the fight changes, immediately changes, that means there's something special about those hands. And I mean, there's there's some extreme power there. And David Benavidez obviously has that. He doesn't look it, but he has it. Um, I, I initially thought it was going to be basically uh, Heredia versus Conti. So obviously Heredia has the better fruit cocktails. <laughs> Conti better uh, better get his game up. But at the end of the day, they've been a Vita's handle business. Very, very good fight. Very entertaining fight, man. Uh, I, I, it had me on the edge of my seat. I'm not going to lie, man. Um, but it is what it is. David Benavidez won. These guys are showing a lot of respect, and I, I was glad for that. So I can actually get back to respecting Benavidez Sr. and, and Benavidez Jr. because, and I did I, I, I lost a lot of respect for those guys, but I, I, I still don't understand why they said anything about the man's daughter, but I'm glad that none of that was mentioned yesterday. I'm glad that they, people have just set that aside and they don't want to keep keep that alive, and uh, I think that's how they should should do it. But that being said, y'all keep cool. Caleb Plant, he'll be back. Benavidez, he will not get the Canelo fight. I'm gonna do a video on that. Canelo ain't messing with that man. Hell no, no way in the world Canelo fights Benavidez. That being said, y'all. Matter of fact, before I end the video, that'll be like Mayweather at the end of his career fighting Earl Spence and Terence Crawford or Keith Thurman. It just wasn't gonna happen. And he doesn't need, he didn't need to make it happen like Canelo doesn't need to make it happen. But I'm going to do a video on that. That being said, y'all keep cool. I'm in the breeze.